Hi, I'm Armin Gerhardt, Director of International Education, and I want to tell you about the unique two-way road by which Wichita is connected to the whole world. The outbound lane is the more than 200 companies in Wichita that do business with other countries all over the globe. The inbound lane is the 1,300 international students from more than 110 different countries who are studying at WSU in a bachelor's, master's, or PhD program, and sometimes all three. These students bring with them a unique opportunity for all of us to expand our awareness and knowledge of life in other parts of the globe. The challenge is always how to make connections so that relationships can be formed. The international students want to meet Americans, but they may be shy about taking that first step. Imagine if you as an American were a foreign student in Bangkok or Beijing or Buenos Aires. So how about you taking the initiative to make contact when you see them and vice versa? Many of these students will be tomorrow's leaders of their countries in business, government and education. It's hard to imagine a better kind of personal and public diplomacy for a better tomorrow than the opportunity we have right here on our campus. I'd like you to meet some of these cross-cultural ambassadors now. I chose Wichita State um, because I saw a diversity of international students. I was looking for universities and colleges online and it kept popping up like it was a place for me to come. And I'm also very outgoing and interested in like international affairs and cultural activities. So it just felt like it fit. I think Wichita is a quiet city and everyone is nice in here. You are going to, know, to meet the new people, new, new faces, the new minded and with totally different culture. You know, if you want to make friends with people who you don't know, totally strangers, you can just start with a smile. Do you have technology? Do you study? Do you have this? Do you do so? Yes, of course. We are educated people. Oh, do you guys have houses? Or can you talk to a lion? Are you serious? You ask me that question. I've never seen a lion in my life except in the zoo, just like in America. A lot of people ask me if it's always cold in Russia because that's the common stereotype. Uh, so they would even ask if where I live it's always winter, even though it's winter only like four months a year. And at other times it's really warm. Because of the fact that I'm meeting all these people from all over the world, now I have a brighter perspective. Um, no, it's a good thing. You get to know other people, like from different countries. You get to learn what their cultures are. The only thing I miss over here is my family. If, if they would be here, I think this, is, this would be a, a good place, the best place to live. The first thing I miss about my home is the food. The Indian food is spicy and tasty. Here all I get is cheese, no, no spicy, no, nothing is hot. Well, I usually go to Wendy's <laughs> and have the um, chicken sandwich. I do go out to many restaurants because Wichita is one of the cities in the U.S. that has the greatest number of restaurants per capita. My favorite food is turkey. Homemade turkey is the best. I listen every kind of music. Everything that suits me, everything, I, I just listen every kind of music, rock, jazz. After coming here, it's all hip-hop and hip-hop and heavy metal, all like that, and sometimes country. And right now I like the Lady Gaga. <laughs> People are a lot more friendlier here, I like that. I like the values on which this country is built, which I think is very, very unique. You don't find it anywhere in the, in the world. Uh, if you lived in another country, you, you realize how precious uh, the, these values are. When you talk about culture, you really have to live with the people to learn about culture. And I think here's the best place for studying. And probably some might think here is too boring, but I don't think so because we can join some organization. You have to get into it and experience it. <laughs>